Welcome my friends from Draper 2. I'm Mrs. Inglesby. I uh, hope that you guys are enjoying being home. Uh, we will be starting a new project and we'll be drawing George Washington together. Um, we will finish drawing our lighthouses and our landscapes when we get back to school. I do not want you to worry about those and also I want you to follow me and if I get too fast this is a good thing my friends you can pause it okay so for this project we're gonna need just um, a piece of paper a blank piece of paper I'm gonna be using a ruler a pencil and an eraser I also have at home a sharpie that if you have one or just a black uh, marker you can use either way it will work if you don't have a sharpie don't worry about it we can do it at school when you get back so this project starts with the first thing is how to draw in squares as, as you can see my square have been done in pencil and so we're gonna start that together so we're gonna get our piece of paper And the first thing that we need to do is create those squares for ourselves. The easy way to do this is when you grab your ruler, make sure you align it really close to the edge of your paper. That's the most important thing. Once you get aligned, I get to hold it with my left hand. And if you can see, I'm holding tight so my ruler doesn't move. And I'm gonna make a very light mark with my pencil. And I'm gonna keep doing it once I do my first one. I make sure I align it nicely again, and I continue. If you get your first one right, the rest of them should be pretty easy because we're just following the width of our ruler. This is an exercise for people that are learning how to draw, and sometimes drawing by little squares makes for some people easy. So for others, sometimes doing the squares can be a little tiresome but it will help us create a nice drawing together as you can see towards the end I have a little bit of space that is not quite my square I'm not gonna worry about it I'm gonna start at my bottom and I do the same thing I make sure I align my ruler at the bottom because that first one is very important the rest of them will be extremely perfect if we just align that first one right so we're gonna continue drawing this. And if I go in too fast, my friends, remember, you guys can pause it while you guys get this done. This is the first thing to do. And we're gonna draw this one line at a time to create my squares. As you can see, if we have the first one and I align and hold my ruler really, really tight with my left hand, it doesn't move and it helps me create those beautiful lines without having to measure much but I still get my squares. The next thing that you're gonna see and I'm gonna have online and this might help you when we're drawing together and I'm gonna have it in front of me and see my last one is a little bigger and I'm just gonna leave it at that. The last one I'm not gonna worry. I have this piece of paper which is Mark with the lines already this will help me guide to count if i count i got one two three four five six and a half is how long it takes my drawing this way and if i count i'm gonna start this part i'm gonna start right here from the bottom of my picture so i'm gonna count one two and still gonna have almost all my third block for some people it might be easier if we fold our papers like this and we can try to draw exactly what we see in those box. So the first one that we have together, and we're gonna draw this, and I'm gonna, look at this, we have one, two and a half. I'm gonna count one, two and a half. And I'm gonna start my first line, look at where it starts. It starts right here, not almost to the end of that square. So that's what I'm gonna start. And then look how it crosses that line, and it stops right there. That's all I can see for now. And then I'm counting again, 
because this is like right there. And then I go, look at that. I got one, and in my second one, I have part of the drawing. And I'm following it really close. And that's all I see. All my first square. Then I can unravel up and get my next. My next one's to show if this is easy for you guys. This is for the people that are doing it for the first time. Now we get to see a few more lines on our squares. And the first thing that we see is that this line continues and it ends over here. So it's going to continue up. It's going to cross my next line. And it's going to stop right there. And then it has this little... That goes. And then I have this line over here that is a diagonal line that is going up. It's going up. And then it's a curvy line and it keeps going until it reaches this part right here. Now we're gonna connect and we continue our diagonal line going up. And it's kind of like a diagonal line and it ends right there. But well, we're seeing this shadows on our drawing. We can get to draw those inside. So we're seeing shapes right diagonal lines diagonal line diagonal line and it's kind of going to diagonal lines and it's creating a shadow so we see another one here diagonal lines diagonal line diagonal lines up to the side and down go up and that's what we see. And those are to color later. We don't have to color them at the moment. We can unravel our next one. Our next triangle. Or, sorry, squares, not a triangle. And we're going to continue to see what we see on our third row. On our third row, we see the first one up here is that it continues in a diagonal line and it starts curving a little bit about there. In this square over here, what do we see? We see a little two diagonal lines and we start another one on the next one. There's one and it keeps going down and it keeps going down this diagonal is creating and it stops right there and it continues going up and we're gonna follow along this going up and it starts going down we see we're gonna finish this one which ends right there and we're gonna continue down here the next square i'm gonna go the next square has one diagonal down one that is bigger and it curves a little then we have another one that is a curvy line diagonal diagonal and it ends right there. On the other side, we have my square starts right there. It's gonna go straight down a diagonal curvy line, not quite straight. It's gonna go all the way down here. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now and I'm gonna work on my inside. Diagonal line, diagonal lines, and kinda having some shapes in there. And it stops right there. The next thing that we have in our square starts getting a little bit more complicated. We start seeing a little few more lines in it. But just pay attention, we're only focusing on this square right here. If it helps for some of you, you can put your eraser or something to cover it. That way it doesn't get too confusing. We're going to see that this starts right here. And it's going to go out. On diagonal lines and it meets with that and over here it's gonna join that and it starts down here diagonal line diagonal line and it goes back up then we have this 
which is going to be part of our color here. So here we continue down and it goes in and look at this curvy first line. It goes out. We don't know where it's going yet. It just goes in there. Then we see our next line comes from about here and it's going to go there like a curvy line and another curvy line and it stops at the end of that square. Then we see our next one. A big curvy line and then we see another one. Big curvy line and then we have this one that is diagonals right here. Diagonal and curves. And then we see this little white little line in here which is a very, it's a curvy line right there. And that's all the lines really that we see in that square. We keep going because we have one down. And we're gonna keep seeing, look what we see next. We see that this one over here is gonna continue going this way, and this one that way, and it ends on that. And then we see this one, look how far it goes, all the way down to the end. And so that's this little thin line, go one, and two. Remember my friends, if I'm going too fast, you can stop this and pause it until you catch up. Here, we're gonna block that one and we're seeing this square over here, which ends right there. So our first line that we're gonna see is that it's gonna curve down and it has something that is gonna start right there and a curvy line down. And then we see this, that it curves down and follows, and it curves down and follows. And that's kind of where it ends. Actually, it ends more in a corner. My mistake. See this little corner over here? So I'm just going to push them all to this little curve as a corner. And that's where I stop seeing them. This one you see in the next one that's going to go here. And this one that is going to go there. And that's where I see my next one stop. And I don't see any more lines. So I'm going to uncover my next one. My next set of squares. I'm going to uncover them. And if it makes it easier for some of you, you can cover this with your hand. That way you don't get lost where you are. And then... On that first stop one, we stop right here at this square. So we continue. We know that it kind of curves. It's going to curve up. And it kind of ends right there. Then we see this come in. It comes in up here. And it curves. Diagonal line, diagonal line, curve, diagonal line, diagonal line curves back and it meets with this line and the second one curves down and look on my next one it goes until there and it meets with this line over here and this one is gonna curve up and it meets with that one as far as I see now we have their eye and the eye is on this square over here, which is this one right here. Okay, we can cover the top and we can just see where the eye is. The eye is in this square right here. One thing you can notice is it starts at the end of that square to about here. And it's a curvy line, diagonal timing, curvy line, diagonal, and it curves halfway and a diagonal and it curves. It's pretty thick that part and actually I even think I made this part a little too thick. Then we have the eye. The eye is a curvy line goes up and down. It has a diagonal line going down. It goes up diagonal to where the eye will end. Curvy line, diagonal, and it curves just before the end of that. We see that little circle in the middle. We're gonna leave it white while we color. 
The next thing we see is we count, we leave this one empty, and then on this one we have some lines. That's kind of funny. We don't see much, right? So our lines, the only thing that we see, look at that, it starts up here, it's a diagonal down and up, and then we see this line continuing. It comes down and a diagonal and in a curvy way, and it look where it goes. It goes down that way. Same with the other one, it just kind of follows this one. And the same thing with this one, it starts right there, it goes a little up and down, it continues curving, and it keeps getting thinner. Then we move down. The next line, we don't see anything until about where this is coming on. See that this continues, curving down, and then it curves up. Then we see this one following, curving down, halfway, and then it's gonna take a toll going down. And I'm gonna stop right there at the end of my square for now. In here, we see that it curves and it follows till the end. And here we see another curvy line. And here we have a curvy line that meets at the end of that square. Now we got these lines right here that will continue on our next square. So we're gonna cover it if it makes it easier for you. The first line I'm gonna follow is this one right here, my black. It keeps going down towards the middle almost of my square. And then it goes back up and guess where it meets? with that one. Inside of it, we're gonna have like a little following this line and it's gonna continue. So we're gonna leave it because it passes our square for now. We got a little triangle going in there and it comes down. And this, it goes beyond. I started curving a little too much. It goes beyond, it just goes straight down and I'm gonna stop it right there because it's gonna continue to my next one. Here we have a curve. See how we have a little curve right there? And we're gonna make this line go this way and that way, kind of diagonal curvy lines. And then we have another curvy line up here that is also kind of past that. And that's all we see except for this little tiny one at the line, which is not much. We move to the next square, and now we're gonna continue. The first line that we see is this one, and it goes all the way down. The next line that we see is this one right here. Oh, we skip those, that it keeps going down. And this one that does the same thing. They're all finishing about the same point. Here we're starting to see that this line over here, it keeps going down and then it goes back up to meet that line. And this one goes diagonally down, diagonal, and we know it's gonna happen somewhere in there, but we don't know yet. Here we start at the end of a square and it goes down and it ends right there, my friends. So we've gone from top to bottom, just seeing what it goes on each square. We can move the R squares one more time. And for some of you say, look at that, there's a lot more lines on those squares. Well, my friends, we're gonna work together and we're gonna go from the top. And the top we only see, look at this line, it's very simple. It starts curving, and it's gonna go right there. It doesn't really that much. We have this one. It looks like it has a point right there. Another diagonal curvy line right there. And it ends right there. And we have this one that is gonna follow. It's gonna follow that curve. And it's gonna go back in and it's gonna end right there because that's all we see. Now we're gonna, look at that, we get to finish that eye. I thought we were done. We are not done with the eye, look at that. So this big eyebrow, 
it's a curvy line and it's a little not symmetrical if you can see it's just going down and then it has a point right there almost to like a triangle that goes because we're drawing kind of like a shadow and then that one that connects and the same thing for the eye we thought we were done we continue with the eye and I have a little curvy line and it's not quite curvy these lines are straight and then that one just kind of ends right there of our eye the next part that we get to see is the beginning of the other eye but not the whole thing if you can see, it's a little lower, and it's in this corner right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is a curvy line. And that's where it ends for that. And that's all really we get to see in this. And maybe it's a little higher, so I can always erase my friends if I have to. And the next thing I see is a little, like a circle, and a diagonal. So I like a little pointy, a little circle. And that's all we get to see. The next thing that we got going is gonna continue down. Look at that. So we see this coming down. Look how far is this nose? And it's gonna go. And it's gonna curve up into a point and then another curvy line and and then we have a diagonal and then here we have the actual outside part of it and it's gonna go over the next just enough and it's gonna leave it like that this one could be a little pointier if you want to if it's not we can work with it still the shape of a nose I got this pretty nicely curved. Here, they don't have it as nicely curved. You can square it and still continue going. Then we see this part of the lips in the next square. We're gonna continue. It's a curve. The lips are in the middle, kind of where that little dip that you make, and it continues kind of straight. This line will continue underneath, and it goes straight. And then we have this a curvy line starts first starts like a little up curvy line we're coming back it gets down diagonal line and it kind of curves we'll leave it like that and we're moving for the next one so we see is this line it's over here we continue our curve and look where it goes down, curve, and up. This one is gonna follow. A little shorter is gonna end, and then it's gonna turn and meet with that one. The next thing that we're having to see is this line right here, which is part of the neck. And it's gonna continue down to about there. We have another one that it departs from here line and it goes this way and we see this little piece of white it's starting to create a shape almost like a triangle right there and this one we see that comes in and it meets with my lines up there that's all we see in the square i'll borrow i have next eraser look at that this curve is going to meet with this one and it's going to curve down then we have this one that is gonna curve up and down a diagonal, another diagonal, and it's gonna go out this way. And in here, we see this line over here going on a curve, and next one follows into a curve, and we have this going inside and then we have this other one that is part of this one that it curves and it does that's all we see in this square then we're gonna move to this square below 
and then we're going to notice that this line continues diagonal down up and it goes and it ends right there this one goes down and it follows the line and it ends in there then we have this one that it comes in and down and it curves and it forms a shape and then we have this one it kind of curves down and look where it goes it ends right there and we have this one that is going to curve and it's going to go up to meet that one then we have this one that comes from here and it's going down to about middle of our square right there And then we have that this one is going to have a little curve to meet with that one. And there's going to be another one in here that is created in the middle. And that's what we see on that square. Let's move to our next square. Our next square continues. This, this part is going to turn up and out. And then we're going to see a curve. And this is going to follow to there. And it's going to curve down and up, diagonal, diagonal. And it goes into a curvy line all the way to there, to that one. This line is going to go in. It's going to follow it. And it's going to go back up and connect to that one. And this one is going to have one that goes in and it connects out. And then we're done with that square. We're going to turn our page. Oh, look at that, my friends. Almost to the last square. I keep folding my paper if it makes it easier. And we have the this. Look at that. It's coming and it's crossing to about here in a curvy line is crossing right there and it goes to this one and I'm just doing the outline just finishing it goes down point it kind of has a little curve that ends to the end and it goes down and it ends up here I just wanted to do the outline so you can see the outside of that face. But let's go now and do like we were doing, square by square. This square continues. It has a curved line that it ends right there. And I'm gonna put my eraser to keep reminding me. I'm on this one. And it looks a little complicated, but it's really not. So we're gonna go and we're gonna take this line on the outside. It's coming down. And then look what it does. It does a big old curve to meet with that one. Mine is closed. This one is open. So I'm going to make sure that I open that curve, the line, to leave that space. Then we have this line is coming down. It has a diagonal lines going up and down on that square and it continues until my next square but I'm gonna leave it on that one remember we are right here just finish that eye the next one starts from the bottom and look at that it's gonna go all around it and it's gonna create that shape now we have the eye itself it starts down here it's a little diagonal and then it curves long enough to meet with that. You get a little, we have a curve towards the bottom. And then it's going to go up in a curve. And then we have that famous roundness of our eye. Right? And then we have that little white circle in there. 
that little circle from the last time that we were looking at, it was not a little circle. It was part of this. So I saw it as a little circle. I'm just erasing that little circle and uniting it with that curve to create that eye. Okay, the next thing we got going is the next square. We finished both eyes. If we look at this, the only part that it really comes off, it's, it's right here from the nose and it goes up. Apparently I didn't see the second line in here when we were drawing to finish that. The next thing we got going here is this face is gonna come down and it's gonna meet with which line? My friends, that line. And then we have that from here, we have that hair shadow, because that's what it is, diagonals, diagonals creating shapes, and they don't have to be perfect, so you create the hairs in there. Then we're gonna go to finish the face. Look, it connects to this one. We're gonna go one and just a little bit, just to finish connecting it. Look at that. Now we have to finish the mouth and this diagonal in here, one diagonal to finish the mouth. Now we have nothing more except for this square that we already finished and we are moving to this square. This square curves and it goes right there. Then we have this little curvy line over here that continues and it curves to there. Apparently we missed that line on the other one. And then the next square continues down. And it continues down like my other one. So this one I'm gonna follow it And my last line is this one that goes in. And it just keeps going down, my friends. It's not a perfect straight line. And we get to see the little curves in here. It curves this to connect these lines. And we are done with our drawing. The only things that I finish is in this square. I continue my line going down and on this side, I continue it going down. As you can see, my nose isn't perfect. If you draw with me like I did with pencil, I can adjust a few things. This is the part that I came a little too wide on the nose. And actually his nose got a little closer to the edge of that square. And I didn't notice that until this end and I was able to look far away. If you got to this point, my friend, you can, if you have a Sharpie, you can trace it. And all these little shapes, you color them in black. And then you can erase all your pencil lines. So this is how we end up with this as a final. As you can see in this one, I have erased some of the lines and I have let some show to show you that I did use my grid to create the same drawing. You go ahead, you can finish it at home, my friends, and spend some time entertaining and coloring with the black. You can add some color in the background if you want to, or otherwise just bring it to school if you don't have any supplies and we could finish in coloring with whatever you want at school when you get back. It was lovely to see you. I hope I can meet you into my next class. When you are done, just put it inside your docket and bring it to school. See you soon.